everybody. More and more of our business friends, business owner friends are reaching out to me and asking me how can they slowly open up their lead flow again. And uh, many of them, just like uh, a lot of business owners, they conserve through the COVID-19 era because their business cannot operate as efficiently as possible as before. So just like most business owners, they conserve. Even though ads are cheaper uh, compared to before, I will say of all of our clients, there's a small fraction of them that spend more. And those are typically larger in size, uh, rather than conserving, they choose to to uh, double down, right? But majority of business owners, which I'm in that camp, I'm a little more conservative. Um, I'd uh, typically would advise them to conserve. It, conserve doesn't mean you spend, you cut out everything. Conserve just means that you spend a little more wisely. You don't do as much branding type of advertisements. Uh, you only focus on those who are problem aware. But with uh, most business starting to open up, what should you do? So again, most of the business owners, they, those that got their PPP fund, they go right back into full uh, lead gen. But most of them, I will still say, the biggest thing here is they got to turn on retargeting. Or if they haven't turned on retargeting, they should. And retargeting should never be limited in ad spend. So retargeting are those ads that stalk you around the internet. Right? Many of you have experienced before where you go on a website, subsequently that ad start to follow you around the internet. So for example, right, um, if I if you came to my website, subsequently once you leave, a uh, copy of my book will start to follow you around the internet. Right, Fox News, all these big sites, but interesting here is these ads they don't cost you anything while it's following you around right so it's very very great good from a uh, nurturing point of view so if your business have a little longer sell cycle such as pre-needs or a window and door it's 97 days buying journey you got to always make sure these retargeting ads are turned on and even right now even during us uh, as things are starting to open up many of them they might even under researching they come to your site they might not act on it right away but you got to be nurturing them once their comfort level uh is more comfortable with having you come over to your house or to call you then right you want to make sure you're nurturing them you're following them around so the minute they're like oh uh, i'm ready then they see your ad they call you so I always say retargeting, whether it's through COVID-19 era or non-COVID-19 era. If you need to be nurturing, if your buying journey is long, you always gotta be, make sure you're doing retargeting, remarketing. So there's three major platforms, right? There's Google retargeting, Google remarketing. That one, uh, you're not getting charged by the, uh, by the impressions. You're only getting charged whenever you get when they click on the ad and go back to your site. Facebook also, you can do remarketing, but these are impression based. They work, they work as well. Subsequently, if they were on your site, subsequently they went on Facebook, the ad will show up there. And you can also do YouTube remarketing if you have a video, right? So. Make sure your remarketing is turned on right now. Um, that will be a big thing I would do as you are so starting to ramp up your business again.